Hello everyone, I am Tulio Lanen and in this video I'll be reviewing the ANET E10 3D printer. I've been working for years with more high-end printers, but during the last year I got the opportunity to try out different 3D printers sold by Gearbest. I was interested because I feel like people are always very skeptical about anything that says made in China. But I always try not to judge too quickly and be open-minded, so I was curious to give it a try. After having reviewed a few different printers from Chinese manufacturers, I can honestly say that I have become very impressed and maybe even developed a love for them. They are very inexpensive and in my opinion it's impossible possible to distinguish the print quality compared to a more expensive FDM printer. I even noticed that I like the rough designs better than the fancy brands, simply because if something breaks down it's very easy fixable, because you can easily reach everything. The printer arrived in a the box. There were tools included and a mini SD card with a USB stick with all the instructions. The printer itself basically came in three pre-assembled parts, which were easy to put together. Although, when I wanted to turn it on, it didn't work. It took me a while before I figured out what was wrong. After some time scratching my head, it turned out that the cable was not connected to the LCD display. I plugged it in and then it worked. This was not written in the instructions, so I assumed it was forgotten in the factory. But with some simple logic, it was not a problem. After leveling the printing bed, I did my first test print and it was surprisingly good. The quality was honestly great. The ANET E10 looks very similar to many other 3D printers on the market right now. Since the Creality 3D came out with its new sleek design of the CR10, many manufacturers have started to copy it. And I don't mind that. The design is good. The metal bars make a very sturdy, simple structure that feels unbreakable and unshakable. However, a lot of these printers look very similar, which can make it very hard to choose the one you want. But they all have very big differences in the details. And the ANET E10 has very positive and negative design choices. The ENET E10 has the possibility to tension its belts, which is good, however the mechanism to do so is very bad. It's very very difficult to put a good tension on the belts. But on the other hand, there are luckily already a lot of different belt tension designs on Thingiverts for this printer, so you can easily upgrade this with new parts. I like the design of the print head. It's very sleek and easy accessible compared to other printers especially compared to its predecessor, the ANET A8. Another thing that stood out to me is that the E10 is assembled with a lot of 3D printed parts right out of the box. I consider this not necessarily as a bad thing, because it means they are very easily replaceable and upgradable. However, it does indicate to me that they wanted to make this printer as fast and as cheap as possible and bring it on the market. I want to mention one poor design choice. The print head is connected to its rails with three wheels. The position of the wheels is unfortunately not very clever and could make the print head tilt slightly if not tensioned properly. To me, this has not happened yet and all my print results have been more than great from this printer so far, but it does worry me for a potential future problem. In short, I think the ANET E10 is another print on the market. I'm not blown away by it compared to other printers like the Creality 3D CR10, which I really like. But then again, the ANET is very affordable and it is definitely a step forward from the ANET A8. And I have to mention that I didn't print a single bad result. All my prints have been very smooth and I didn't encounter any problems so far. So the ANET E10 is definitely doing its job right. Another big thanks to Gearbest for letting me review this printer with my honest opinion. More printers are coming in the future, so feel free to subscribe. And then I thank you for watching. See you all next time.